problems in now, you know? In a right. good way, a surprise in a good way. I, well, he was always in bands. And it, I think what he did was he quietly got really good on guitar. And he didn't push himself forward until he did. Yeah. And this was 219 and he just said, I need to write with you now. And I went, right, okay, where did that come from? And uh, long story short, we had, we were, he showed me what he had and I said, okay, can work with that. Started to write a few songs, went into the studio to make a demo with three songs, having fun. Third demo went, I turned to the engineer and I turned to my son, Richard, and I said, we're making an album. And they said, we know. And all of a sudden from having fun, it was serious and it just flew. We really connected. Now, does he take the lead now in this or, or is it like, okay, you got to listen to mom or how, how's that dynamic work in the studio? Well, when it, we, the first album was um, getting your feet wet and seeing how we work together, trying different things. I remember saying to my son and he had to adjust more than I did because I've worked with family before he hasn't. Yeah. So for me, it was just quite natural. Uh, and also I'm not mom when I'm working. But, relationship out the window but i remember saying to him now that we know we're making an album this is on no control i said i don't want any barriers i don't want any tracks to run down i just want whatever happens to happen so you've got a very organic album that first album mm -hmm. you know bit of him bit of me bit of us together whatever and that was successful very very good critics and then when we were going to do the second one lockdown happened and uh, i said i said to him we're not on the road now because there's no gig. So he was on the road with the band he worked with. I was 85 shows. I said, okay, we got the space. We're going to write. And then he got his confidence up on that first album, big time, of course. And then he said to me, all the way, right from the beginning, I know what this next album should sound like. Uh, the benchmark is the first album you made, Susie Quattro. And trust me, he must have said it 800 times. Trust me. Trust me. And I'm, mm -hmm. you know, whenever a man says trust me, it doesn't matter if he's your son. Right. You have to doubt that. Um, but I have now learned to, to trust him and let him not dictate, but I let him lead the way because what he's showed me now is that he's been watching me, Susie Quattro, I have to say, on stage since as far back as his memory goes. Okay. That's a lot of soaking up dna okay yeah. and he sees me in a certain way he's watched me all those years so what he's done he's brought back to the table this rebirth is like i didn't think i need a rebirth and i've always been the same always go 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 but it's like i was able to see myself fresh is the word i'm looking for he's made me see myself fresh as if i'm just beginning and actually that was his intention and he he managed to do that so I was as excited. Oh my God, do I do that? Oh, wow. You know, you're watching the reaction and yeah. So I, I trust him now and we work well together. Sure. A few bits and pieces artistically, but when you're creating something, if you don't have that, something's wrong. Sometimes, you know, one of you hears something strongly, the other one doesn't, you got to fight your corner. You know, I don't ever pull rank because I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right, but I, I will, I will say it quite strongly if I believe it. So will he and go back and forth, but it's worked out great because uh, the devil in me had the best critics of my career. I mean, embarrassingly wonderful. Well, what was the one song that, was there one song in particular, like, wow, this, this, you, you are right. This song reminds me of my debut album and, and you, um, you created the energy that, that, that album. I think, I think the devil in me has that. Um, Motor City Riders has that. Uh, I sold my soul today. Whoa. That's a killer on stage. That's a killer. It's an arm killer because it's da, 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 all the way through, and I don't pick. So I'm da, da, my arm gets yeah. cramped. You know? I wait for those two chords where you stop. You know, <laughs> so taking a breath. Yeah, it's all good. It's hard. To, it's hard to choose a track, and even the critics and the, all the interviews I've done, nobody can choose a track. I love the Christmas one. I love uh, my heart and soul. I need you on for Christmas because it was um, it awakened in me my Motown. You know that I grew 